It's time for Ryan's Roses. It's a public service. If you are pulling your hair out about your relationship. That's pretty extreme. And you don't know where to turn and you want to get some answers, then send us the story on email. We'll see if you want to come on the air and then you decide. Now, Marissa is on the phone. She's from Oxnard and she's concerned about her husband. She says that, dear Ryan and Ellen, my husband went from being the best father and husband to treating us like we are now strangers. He works a lot, so to stay in contact with the kids, we always use FaceTime. Dad has stopped. He's always too busy at work to answer. He always has some random excuse. It makes me think maybe he's not at the office at all, and when he's home, he's so disconnected from us, he doesn't even talk to the kids. He's just on his phone texting. Mm. So, Marissa, I can understand this change of behavior has got you in question, huh? Yes. Definitely. And have you have you discussed um, it with him? Well, every time I try to bring it up, it's, he's just really not around, and he just kind of writes it off. Like, the second that I start talking about it, he just kind of blows up and is like, you know I'm working hard for this family, and then and then the subject is just kind of overlooked. And can, I, can I ask you, how long have you been married? We've been married for seven years. So... It's possible that there's a, a lull in the marriage just due to time and, you know. I mean, that is possible, the, but our kids are at the word I'm a looking great for. prime part of their lives. Like, I would say that this should be more exciting for our marriage when they're in basketball. and. Well, I, oh, so the word I'm searching for is routine. Now, I'm not saying that he's not guilty of something, but you got to be aware of routine. But also, he's the father to what? Two girls, two boys, a boy and a girl? More? Two boys. Two boys. Two boys. Well, I don't know any father who would want to miss out on having all these experiences with their kids. Well, that may be the best point of all. That may be the best and point of all, Al. You're right. Also, you know, life the routine is all his, his doing. It's his job that creates this routine with the FaceTime and everything. And he has not offered to try to change things, to try to get his schedule lighter, like... Nothing has changed. Okay, and we're gonna really call. Continuing. We're gonna call him, Marissa. Can you hang on for a second? Yes. Okay, we're gonna call him next. I'm gonna get Patty in here. Ryan's roses. Marissa's on the phone. The long and short of it is, she's been married for seven years. Her husband is being more distant. They've got two kids. He works a lot. Anyway, he he's not FaceTiming with the kids. He's not answering the phone when they usually always FaceTime, and she thinks maybe he's not even at work. He's been acting strange. The behavior shifted, and she thinks maybe something is going on. That's the long and short of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and Ellen made the best point in the conversation, which is, wait, what guy doesn't want to answer his phone and FaceTime his kids? If he's been obviously, if he's been doing it now, he's not doing it. That's weird, right? Like when when your kids are like teenagers and then leaving the house. This dad's going to look back and go, where was I? Well, Marissa, would you just say to me this, Ryan, you have my permission to call and then whatever his name is on KISS FM? Ryan, you have my permission to call on KISS FM. Okay. Patty's going to call him and offer him some roses. We want to find out who he sends them to. What's the name? Is it yours, Marissa, that's top of mind, or is it someone else? And then we want to find out what message he sends. Like, What is in his head, Okay. Okay. All right. Good luck, Marissa. Thank Here you. we go. Hello? Hi, may I speak to Robert? Uh, speaking. Hi, Robert. My name is Patty calling from Lovable Flowers. How are you? I'm um, okay. Good to hear. I'm calling because you've been chosen to uh, receive a free dozen roses. They are completely free, and you can send them to whoever you want this morning. I don't need any information from you, just the name of the person you're going to send the flowers to and a note. And um, they'll get them today by lunchtime. And all I ask in return is for you to go to my Facebook page and, you know, maybe leave a, a, a review, like a comment, you know, maybe like my page, and that would allow me to be able to get more customers. All right. Mm -hmm. That seems fair, I guess. Great. And so let's do that. Uh, I know you're a busy person, so let's make this quick. What is the name of the person you want to send the flowers to? Um, you'll be sending it to Claire. Claire. And what do you want to put on the note? Um, you could say something like, 
Like, uh, you you make me so happy. You, can, you know, Robert. Robert. Yeah. Robert, I want you to know your voice is being broadcast on the radio. It's Ryan Seacrest and Ellen Kay. Hi, Robert. We have your wife, Marissa, on the phone. Robert, okay. who, who is Claire? Uh, Claire is just, uh, just a friend from work. But what did you just say on the card? That doesn't sound you like a friendly me card. so happy. Like, I, I've never sent that to Ellen, although you do. Oh, thank you, Ryan. But I've never, like, that's a weird thing yeah. to send to a friend. Robert? Yeah. Your um, wife has asked us to call you to find out what's going on. Something's going on with Claire, right? Yeah. It's, yeah, something's been going on recently. Hi. Uh, well, this is obvious. This is clear. It's been clear to Marissa since it started. And your two sons. I mean, you, you're avoiding phone calls, FaceTimes. You've changed your... Are you Are you going to work when you're telling her you're going to work, or are you going to Claire's? Um, no, I'm... I'm going to work. I'm still pretty busy. Does Claire know that you're married with two sons who would love to FaceTime with you, but you blow them off because you're with her? Yeah. I mean, she knows I have I have a family. I I don't know. It's not it's not because of I don't know. It's not because of her that I'm not around my family a lot. Well, but Robert, well, just, what is it? it Why? It's just been years in the making. We've been married for seven years now, and it's just been kind of tension and uh, just non-communicating for years. It's just been well, up. who's the one who's not communicating? I am always trying to encourage us to all be together as a family, and you're the one who just ignores even FaceTimes from your children who are just trying to see your face. You're the one who's ignoring. You're the one who's not communicating. What else can we do? What can, what else can I try to make this work? I mean, I I don't know. It just it just seems like it's not like it's not something that'll improve. Wait, honestly. Robert, are you are you through with the marriage? I'm unclear. Are you cheating on your wife? Are you is that what you're telling us? Yeah, more or less. Well, what, what do you mean more or less? What does that mean? So you are. Well, yeah. I mean, it's not it's not something that I'm proud of. I yeah, but, but but stop with this Seth Rogen sound and attitude about it. You're you're like screwing up your entire relationship here, and you sound no, nonchalant. It's your family, well, Robert. I, I mean, I didn't make this phone call. Well, but Robert, you're yeah. lying to your wife and your kids every day. How long um, have you been seeing Claire? Uh, the, about a year now. A year? I mean, on and off. Do you get, Robert, what's going on? Like, you got a marriage of seven years, you got two kids, and, and you're, you're, you're talking to me like you're lounging on the couch watching a ball game about the fact that you're cheating on your wife. I mean, it's starting to sink in. I mean, it's hitting me pretty hard right now. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't really know how to react to it. This is all very overwhelming. Well, I'll say... And you're saying to me that you think it's just there's no hope for us, that you don't want to try to make anything work whatsoever for our kids? Do you want to try? Well, you do have the two kids, but you... I don't know what to say. Robert, when were you going to tell your family that you are bailing? I don't... I hadn't really thought that far in advance, really. Um, I guess Is that I what you're doing? That, it would, that I would get caught at some point. And uh, that seemed easier than just bringing it up myself. Okay. Well, Robert, let me just say this to you. We are going to take you both off the air. And I think you need to go sit down and talk to your wife about what's happening because you sound alarmingly calm about it. And I, I don't and understand it. And I, don't, I don't understand it. This is too much. This is ridiculous. Well... It's like you don't care at all. Yeah. No emotion. At all. I mean, I I do care, but I just think it's I think it's beyond repair at this point. Oh my gosh. Okay, hey, hang on, um, hang on both of you. Hey, hang on, Marissa. I'm so sorry, baby. Hang on one second. I don't get it. Um 
What's up with that? He literally sounds like a character Seth Rogen plays. He does. Exactly. And he could be talking about anything. Right. He's so calm. Poor Marissa. Those poor kids. I don't know who not to believe. That's my problem. I don't know who not to believe. I don't know if I should not believe her or not believe him. Oh, I believe her. But he sound, he acts like there are no stakes. But I believe him, too. I, I, I just think that he's... I'm just saying to you, um, I don't know who not to believe. I don't know how to follow that. Okay, well, hang on. 